Do you swear that the testimony you will give before this committee shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. Thank you. Thank you. May all be seated. We properly planned for a mass demonstration with possible violence. What we got was a military style coordinated assault on my officers and a violent takeover of the Capitol building. Talk to me. What did you see that leads you to believe that this was a coordinated attack? And I would like our other witnesses to, to uh, engage in that as well. Yeah, I'm able to provide you a, a quick overview of why I think it was a coordinated attack. One, these people came specifically with equipment. What, you're bringing climbing gear to, to a demonstration. You're bringing explosives. You're bringing chemical spray, such as what Captain Mendoza, Mendoza had talked about. You're coming in, prepare, uh, prepared. The fact that the group that attacked our West Front, attacked our West Front 20 minutes approximately 20 minutes before the event over at the Ellipse ended, which means they were planning on our agency not being at what they call full strength, be, you know, watching the other events saying, hey, that event's ending. Okay, everybody get on post. They're going to be marching our way, knowing that we may not be at full strength at that time. And then also the fact that we were dealing with two pipe bombs that were specifically, you know, set right off the edge of our uh, uh, perimeter to, what I suspect, draw resources away. I think there was a significant uh, coordination with this attack, a clear lack of accurate and complete intelligence across several federal agencies contributed to this event and not poor planning by the United States Capitol Police. We rely on accurate information from our federal partners to help us develop effective security plans. The intelligence that we based our planning on indicated that the January 6th protests were expected to be similar to the previous MAGA rallies in 2020, which drew tens of thousands of participants. The assessment indicated that members of the Proud Boys, white supremacist groups, Antifa and other extremist groups were expected to participate on January 6th and that they may be inclined to become violent. Based on the intelligence that we received, we plan for an increased level of violence at the Capitol and that some participants may be armed. But none of the intelligence we received predicted what actually occurred. I was surprised at the reluctance to immediately send the National Guard to the Capitol grounds. In the meantime, by 2.30 p.m., the district had requested additional officers from as far away as New Jersey and issued notice of an emergency citywide curfew beginning at 6 p.m. From that point, it took another three and a half hours until all rioters were removed from the Capitol. 90 minutes later, at 8 p.m., Congress was able to resume its critical work and fulfill its constitutional duty. Much has been said about whether optics affected my judgment in a January 4 telephone call with Chief Sun and Senate Sergeant Arm Stanger about a National Guard offer to incorporate 125 unarmed National Guard troops into the security plan. The Guard's purpose would have been to work con traffic control near the Capitol. My use of the word optics has been mischaracterized in the media. Let me be clear. Optics, por as portrayed in the media, played no role whatsoever in my decisions about security and any suggestion to the contrary is false. Safety was always paramount when making security plans for January 6th. We did discuss whether the intelligence warranted having troops at the Capitol. That was the issue. And the collective judgment at that time was no, the intelligence did not warrant that. If the chief or any other security leader had expressed doubt about our readiness without the National Guard, I would not have hesitated to request them. Escalating. Clearly, here we got a coordinated attack. All of you saw this immediately the way they were doing. I can imagine the conversations with the National Guard. And Chief, you were stunned by the tepid response. Could you clarify that and tell us exactly how those conversations went? Yeah, so uh, just after, sometime after 2 o'clock uh, p.m., I had left the, uh, the west front of the Capitol after initially uh, being at the scene, assessing uh, what was going on, uh, looking at uh, just how violent uh, uh, at looking at the violent actions that were taking place. Uh, shortly thereafter, there was a phone call that was convened uh, between several officials. Uh, Chief Sun was on the call, uh, literally pleading uh, for, there were several army officials that were on the call. I don't know all by name who were on the call. Uh, several officials from district government that were on the scene. Was, Chief Sun was pleading uh, for the deployment of the National Guard. And in response to that, uh, there was not an immediate yes uh, the National Guard is responding. Yes, the National Guard is on the way. Yes, 
the National Guard are being restaged from traffic posts uh, to respond. Uh, the response was more uh, asking about the plan uh, that, you know, what was the plan for the National Guard? The response was more uh, focused on, uh, in addition to the plan, uh, the optics, you know, the, how this looks uh, with boots on the ground uh, on, the, on the Capitol. And in, in my response to that uh, was simply, I was just stunned uh, that, you know, I have officers that were out there literally fighting for their lives. And, you know, we're, we're kind of going through, you know, what seemed like a, an exercise to really check the boxes uh, and there was not an immediate response. Uh, with the, 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 when I asked specifically, uh, Steve Sun, Chief Sun, was he requesting the uh, National Guard and was that request being denied? The response was no, uh, we're not, the, the, from the uh, U.S. Department of the Army, was no, we're not uh, denying the request, uh, but uh, the they were concerned, they did have concerns. So I was just, again, just stunned at that response.